I have been actively trading the stock market for eight years now, and I've been consistently profitable for just the last two years. That means it's taken me six years to figure out how to get to a point of consistent profitability. This game really is that difficult. In today's simple little video, I'm gonna teach you what it took me six years to figure out to get to profitability. So if you all can hit the like buttons and make sure you subscribe to the channel, we'll jump right into the content. You have no idea whether you're going to win or lose in the next individual trade you take. Trading is nothing but a game of statistics, and the idea is to develop strategies that make money over time. I'm going to put a picture of my recent trading chart here on the screen for you now, and you will see my strategy loses more than 50% of the time. I have a lower than 50% win ratio, but my profit to reward ratio is high enough that I still make money over time. I'm still over a one six profit factor. That is so very important to understand. And it's so very important to be okay with that. You need to be comfortable with red. You need to understand that every time you lose a trade, it's not time to go change your strategy. You need to understand that once you have built a winning system and building a winning system as a whole separate conversation in and of itself that we've made probably hundreds of videos on on this channel already so i'm not going to deep dive too much in how to do that today but once you build a winning system the only right and wrong is did you follow your system or did you not follow your system did you get in where you were supposed to did you get out where you were supposed to if you did those two things you were right. You did the right thing. It doesn't matter whether you made or lost money in that individual trade. Too many traders think that stocks move for objectified reasons. Think that there's some sort of reason why stocks do things all the time that they are supposed to know so that they can read the future and always make money in trades. They think every time they lose a trade, there's something that they did wrong. No, there's, there's just winning trades and losing trades. There's no right or wrong, once again, as long as you followed your system. If you broke your system, if you broke your objectively defined trading system, then you were wrong, yes. But if you follow your system, there's just winning trades and there's just losing trades. Trading is not a game of fortune telling. You're not gonna get better at trading because you get better at reading the future. I have no idea what a stock is going to do every single time I buy it. I have no idea. I have just proven a statistical pattern of evidence against market structure and against volatility bands that I use and optimize continuously to update for whatever the current market condition is. I have proven statistics in back testing and then in my forward testing in my journal much like the statistics that i just showed you i just ensure that the real trades that i'm taking align with my back tested solution and once that starts to unalign once the market conditions shift to the point where it's not aligning with the back test anymore i know it's time to optimize i know it's time to update so a little bit of a rant here to start with but this number one most important thing i i came to understand in my six years of not consistently making money is that is that your job isn't to get every trade right your job is to trade market structure and make money over time if you don't already have proven objectified strategies that work within the market I have spent hundreds of hours developing strategies and on my website, daytradingstrategies.net, I am always adding and updating my strategies to stay on top of ever-changing market conditions. So make sure you all check this out if you need it. Link in the top of the description down below. I don't know which of those of the next 20 trades or 25 trades that come up, I don't know which ones are going to be the winners and which ones are going to be the losers. If I'm going to trade my methodology appropriately, it really obligates me to take every single trade. I can't be picking and choosing my trades based on what I think is going to happen because I hopefully have already established you don't know. And if you think you know, you're just making it up in your own mind. 
That was a clip of Mr. Mark Douglas, and if you ever heard him speak before, part one of this video probably sounds a lot like I was copying him, because I largely was. I have learned so much about what turned me into a profitable trader from him. Unfortunately, he's no longer with us. Rest in peace for me to give him the flowers that he deserves in real life. But I will link his full webinar that that clip was from uh, in the description down below. And I would highly suggest you all check it out. It's a couple hours long and it's going to, I mean, it changed my trading career forever. So part two of the video now sort of segmented here. Part one, you learned that you don't know what a stock's going to do. And it's not about always being right in trades. It's about following your trade system, optimizing your trade systems, and being large picture focused on your PL, right? Well, part two is sort of going to touch on then what do we do? Okay, we've got a trade system now and we've got the right sort of psychology to stick to that trade system. What do we do in ever-changing market conditions? Because unfortunately, there is no such thing as just something that works. You always need to stay on top of your market conditions. That's why on my website, I'm always optimizing my strategies. I'm always updating the strategies for you all and obviously for myself as well because it's necessary. If you guys ever look at a graph of a backtest or of a strategy that was backtested and how it's still performing today, you will usually find that the backtest PL goes up, 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 and then it sort of starts to flatten out. A good strategy, at least, will kind of flatten out and then just sort of flatline. Because that's what happens. You build systems that work for the current market condition, right? You, you build yourself a strategy that is optimized for what is currently going on. And then hopefully, as long as you've built a good strategy, even when it's outside of its working market condition, so that's why it kind of flatlines at the top, even when it's outside of its current working market condition, it doesn't get crushed, right? But it doesn't exactly continue to work so well anymore. So part two is sort of the playbook of strategies that you need to build. You will start to understand what strategies work for what scenarios, and you need to learn when to employ certain strategies, right? It would be so nice. Listen, it would be so nice if there was just a way that you can trade the market. If you do this, you'll always make money. I'll teach you this. Congratulations, go off. You've got yourself a trading career. Wouldn't it, be the, wouldn't it be nice if that's how this worked? Unfortunately, it's not. So you need to be able to know when to employ certain trading strategies. And that is done through journaling. That is done through forward testing. We spoke about this a little already. I'm going to touch on it more now. In your back testing, you're going to derive statistics. You're going to derive win percentage, average PL, max drawdown, and then you're obviously going to have those same statistics in your forward testing, in your real trade journal. Your, your job is to ensure that what you're currently trading aligns with what you back tested. And you will notice in your what you're currently trading, if you sort it to say every week, every month, you will start to notice that it'll start to get out of whack, unfortunately. Market conditions will shift. The market will freaking dump from 4,600 to 4,100 in four months like it did uh, over the last four months here recently. And your market, your strategy may no longer work. So you may need to optimize your strategy. You may need to update it. You may need to create new strategies. But then at the same time, while you're doing that, what you need to do is you need to write down somewhere, you know, what was going on in the market when that strategy worked. And then you begin to build into the strategy prerequisites. This is where you start to, within your strategies, and it's something that I do as I move forward with my strategies, I start to build, hey, if this is going on in the market, then you get your triggers for your buys, right? If the market is this volatile outside of these volatility bands, then you trade this strategy. If the market's inside these volatility bands, then you trade these strategies. If the market's uptrending, then you trade these strategies. If the market's downtrending, then you trade these strategies. You start to build yourself a playbook so that almost no matter what's happening, listen, you're, you're still never going to always make money. Guess what? The best traders in the world have red months. Hell, 
have red years. It's going to happen. As we spoke about in part one of this though, it's about money over time. Your job is to make a career out of trading, not to get rich quick, correct? So your job is to then build that playbook and learn when to employ it. So the two very, very important topics that I promise you, if you take them to heart, will change your trading. One, you are not a fortune teller, you are a statistician. This game is not about knowing what stocks are gonna do. This game is about defining risk and proper volatility management and proper proven expected value statistics that you trade to make money over time. And part two is that you begin to build a playbook so that you learn when to employ these strategies that have the positive expected value over time so that you can make money over time. With all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and sign out of this video. I hope it did help. I hope you did learn something. If you did, please hit the like button for me. If you're new around here, why not get more videos like this in your subscription box for completely free? hit the sub button down below. And I am going to link you guys to a video about whether or not I think day trading actually works. So click that next.